September 15, 2017, the spacecraft known as Cassini, after two decades of loyal service, made its final dive into Saturn's atmosphere, what many called a poetic end to a legendary mission. Scientists on the mission thought they had viewed it, all the spherical hexagons of Saturn's North Pole, the icy geysers of Enceladus, the methane lakes of Titan. The images were stored and the data was reviewed. The mission was complete. Closed, but Cassini didn't just fall. It sent something back. And what it transmitted hidden deep within a series of what appeared to be ordinary visuals wasn't discovered until years later. When a powerful quantum AI scanned the final data, what it discovered has left even the most pessimistic of individuals unable to deny it. It was not a digital glitch or a blurry shadow. It was a structured, intelligent pattern, a signal, a message that had been right under the surface, in plain sight, uncoded, not in sound or light, but in geometry, mathematics, and silence, a message that appears to imply you weren't just watching. Saturn, we were observing your commitment to us, because what Cassini captured before it took its last breath could be the first irrefutable. Evidence that something or someone has been waiting on the edge of Saturn all along. Cassini's mission was a triumph that offered humanity the clearest views ever of Saturn and its moons. Thousands of high-resolution images were taken, processed, categorized, and placed into digital archives where they sat undisturbed. For years, among them was a group of images taken only minutes before the probes. Disintegration.images praised for their aesthetic beauty, but nothing more. Or so it seemed, it wasn't until 2025, when a private lab applied quantum image processing to enhance faint cosmic data, that something strange surfaced. Buried in Cassini's final frames were subvisual echoes repeating geometrical distortions that did not correspond to any known atmospheric behavior. They weren't flaws. They weren't. Compression errors, the patterns were identical across all angles, frames, and time stomps. Something was there and it had made sure we would eventually see it. The AI used to reprocess these images wasn't ordinary. It was a quantum neural network, capable of scanning beyond visible light ranges and identifying structured symmetries in mathematics. Its original purpose Two Denois telescope images from interstellar space make fuzzy photos clearer. But with Cassini, it did something new. It began locating intentional repetitions of structure. Fibonacci spirals, prime number sequences, golden ratios embedded. In the visuals, the woven shapes were subtle. Like a watermark pressed into Saturn's atmosphere, researchers initially assumed it was an algorithmic byproduct a computational hallucination. But the AI kept finding them with every new image. The patterns grew clearer. They formed alignment grids radiating from specific coordinates on Saturn's. Surface coordinates that aligned with magnetic anomalies. Scientists had previously dismissed as data noise. It became clear this wasn't. A software error. This was a signal and it had been anticipating the right machine to hear it. As scientists pushed the AI further, they discovered more than just pretty shapes. These were designs numerical codes, sequences that used mathematical constants common to human knowledge. Euler's number. Prime patterns dot as pixels. Numbers were embedded in arrangements that spanned. Multiple image layers. It was as if something out there comprehended our science and was responding in kind. The structure reflected the reasoning behind humanity's golden record, stent with the Voyager probes, universal math to communicate, intelligence. But this time, the message wasn't outbound, it was inbound. Something had responded, and the location of the patterns matched Saturn's most unstable regions places, where no Earth-made sensors had ever retrieved clean data. Now, we understand why data was not organic instability. It was a covert encryption technique not to delay detection, but to delay comprehension until the appropriate instrument, the right moment. And the right civilization finally arrived. But only 
After the most chilling discovery of all, Cassini was programmed to take a burst of 12 rapid images before its signal was lost. Only 11 were ever decoded. The 12th frame is missing, not corrupt, not damaged, intact, but unreadable, it was transmitted. The raw binary packet exists, but no tool on earth, not even the AI, has been able to crack it. It's as if this last image activated a security lock a layer of encryption, not created by humans. Some experts now believe this image may contain a direct message or representation, perhaps even a symbol something that would have made everything clear. But someone or something didn't want us to see it, not yet, and maybe not ever. As researchers continued, cross-referencing the final patterns Cassini recorded with Saturn's environment, a new theory emerged one that included more than just the planet itself, its moons Enceladus, Titan, and Dionial, of which Cassini had examined in great detail, appeared to form geographical alignments that echoed the same proportions found in the anomalous images. But the twist. Those ratios also corresponded to ancient Earth. Symbolism, pyramids, spiral, and petroglyphs. Alignments and numerical ratios found in dot dot dot, this was one of the forgotten megalithic structures. A coincidence? Or was there some kind of Saturn system to mirror the intelligence that is already on Earth? It started to be referred to by some scientists as the Saturn Coda system of cosmic geometry that appeared to cover deep human history, space, and Cassini. The latter is at the heart of this code. The transmission hovered like a riddle encased in flames while the majority of the data were whistleblowers accessible to the public. Organizations that conduct inside space research began to release internal snippets, even emails. Audio logs and communication revealed private lab footage, showed something deeply unsettling. Some of the AI's early outputs were immediately classified. An agreement had been reached quietly and unnoticed by the public to omit any frames in which geometric, recognizable shapes were formed by patterns, especially anything that might be interpreted as symbolism or language. In one frame, a triangular pattern with perfectly symmetrical edges appeared. Another view of Saturn's southern hemisphere. Sequence of pulses matched the rhythm of Morse code. The scientists working on the project were reportedly silenced. Some were moved, while others were forced into NDAs that made it impossible. For them to talk, what was discovered was of no ordinary nature. It had become more than just a scientific puzzle. It had become a matter of who gets to choose when the human race is ready for truth. Among the worldwide scientific community, a rift has formed. On one side are those who insist that the patterns are the result of natural phenomena, amplified by quantum image processing. They contend that pareidolia repensity to find patterns in randomnesses dependable. But on the opposing side are cryptographers, data scientists, and mathematicians who assert that no known process could continuously produce ratios between Taken images that are so precise from various vantage points, distances, and times, the signal goes beyond simply repeating. It evolves. It appears to react. The missing twelfth frame is now known as the eye. It is regarded as a last resort by many a gatekeeper for an intended message comprehended only when we are truly prepared to receive it. But who or what group decides that threshold? Despite NASA's silence, the independent research community has exploded. Forums, code repositories, and private laboratories worldwide are presently obsessed with breaking into. Cassini's final transmission. Some claim to have progressed in the decryption of the unreadable 12th frame, reporting glimpses of odd symbols or architecture. Others assert that the file's checksum conforms to standard error codes. It suggests intentional obfuscation as if the image is locked. Waiting to be triggered by a specific external input? One rogue researcher even proposed that the trigger isn't a file or key, but an event, a celestial alignment, a spike in solar radiation, or perhaps a human-level discovery.
It's a kind of shifting moment that changes our comprehension forever. Until then, the world is still waiting. But the countdown has already begun, and the final present from Cassini could be much more than just a picture. It could be a door. Cassini was more than just an apparatus. It was a witness, a voyager, that slipped quietly into the unknown, carrying no weapons. No flags, just wide open ice and the curiosity of an entire civilization behind it. We believed we were the only ones watching. We were mistaken at the end. Images that are enigmatic and encrypted. Patterns that did not include the twelfth frame. They were neither accidental nor malfunctions. They were markers, like signs left to pass by something far ahead of us, something ancient and intelligent, something patient. And right now, years after Cassini's destruction, the echoes of its final breath are finally being recognized, not just by humans, but by machines built to consider what they're finding beyond us. It is shaking the very foundation of what we thought space exploration was about. Perhaps, dot, dot, we were never the explorers. We were observed, investigated, dot, predicted. One last image is locked and waiting. Like a cosmic time capsule engineered not for the time it was taken. But for now, we are currently prepared to determine what it means. If you've made it this far, you're not just a viewer, you contribute to the awakening before the twelfth picture is cracked. Share this video, subscribe, because this is only the beginning. Leave a comment below. What do you think Cassini was meant to demonstrate to us? Who sent the message there? Space's silence has now been broken. We are responsible for deciding what to do with the truth.